Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Regeneration TV. Uh, as you know, we've been on a topic for like two months now. It's called Assurance of Salvation. And today in class, uh, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a review. Uh, we actually did a review in class and we started a new um, area of the Assurance of Salvation. So I wanted to ask you guys a few questions, something we've been going over. And the first one is that, uh, you know, is it possible to have assurance of salvation? That's pretty much the big thing. Is it even possible? And as you think about that question, I want to read you a verse. It's in 1 John 5, verse 13, and it says, I have written this to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know you have eternal life. So, is it possible to have assurance, whether you've been trailing with us or not, and maybe this is your first time seeing it, yes it is. You can know for certain that you're, you're saved, that when you die and you rise again to see Jesus at the judgment, you know that you are not going to hell, you're going to heaven. You're going to be with God in eternity, uh, here on the new earth, which we've done other topics on that. So, yes you can know. And so we've been talking about that because I think a lot of us as Christians, we doubt whether we're truly saved or not. And um, the biggest thing that we tend to doubt is we found out today, just after talking in classes, that we doubt ourselves. We doubt that we're worthy of it. We don't really live up to what we're say, you know, that God's salvation for us. We're not, we don't deserve it. And that beats us up. So... We've been going through this, you know, how people have been predestined, how all of that works together. And now we're kind of getting to an area of where, well, what kind of signs can I look for in me? You know, how can I know if, okay, if I'm really saved, I know that the Bible teaches that we can know. What do I need to look for? And I'm just going to go over one today. And that is because the next, one, next week we're going to go over the rest. And that is true um, true faith in Jesus. As we talked about last week, that we can have assurance in false things. We can trust more in our baptism than in actually the saving grace of Jesus. I think, you know, over the past 2,000 years, baptism may have gotten watered down some. I think originally it was exactly what it was supposed to be, but now we see it as a way to get saved more than trusting in Jesus. We trust in the act of baptism rather than surrendering fully and giving our lives to Jesus. So that's something we talked about um, last week, but also bringing it home today because the first thing you need to look for is whether you are really saved or not. Is Are you fully trusting in Christ? Is there anything else you're trusting in more? Are you trusting in your works, your efforts, your obedience, to maybe all of the laws or certain laws? Is that where your confidence comes from? Is it, if people ask you, hey, are you saved? Are you a Christian? What do you say? Do you say, yeah, I've been baptized? Or, you know, do you say, oh, yes, I, I did communion at my church? Or what, what is it? If it's not, I, I get, my life is fully surrendered to Christ, I totally trust Him, then I would question whether your faith is fully on Him because that's what it takes. If you read the scriptures, there's nothing else. Paul himself said, I traded it all for Christ. So that was the first thing you look for in yourself is whether you're saved or not. So next week, we're going to get into all the topics. Today, we looked at a few others. You have to have fruits, spiritual fruits. You have to have love, conviction. We're going to get into those more in more detail next week, and we'll do a little summary for you. So I hope you continue sticking with us. Our goal is so that you can have more confidence in your salvation. And the Bible gives us a lot of ways to do that. But we're searching our hearts now in these next few lessons before we go into the next part of how do you know if you yourself are really saved? What do you look for? So I look forward to that journey with you. And we're going to start it up next week. Until then.